Hello, Michigan, July 3rd, 2017. Uh, some up-to-date numbers on um, projected health care insurance coverage losses by 2026, which sounds like a long ways away, but it's nine years or so. Um, we're going to look at the numbers for Michigan in particular. Uh, let's go over some information about the numbers first. We're coming over here. The numbers you're looking at are state and con congressional district breakout estimates by the Center for American Progress. How many people in the nonpartisan congressional budget office uh, expects would also known as the CBO um, expects would lose health care coverage by 2026 if the uh, this Republican slash Trump care bill were to come into law? Um, so that's where we're getting the information. Um, there's some other information here that 19 states uh, haven't expanded Medicaid, so they've made some issues for that. They've made some trade-offs for that too. Um, Let's come up here to your numbers. Um, so in Michigan, the first area here is the Medicaid ar area, and it's for the non-elderly Medicaid. It can it consists of the adults, children, disabled, uh, people on the Medicaid expansion currently, and uh, the subtotal for Michigan is uh, 379,000. Um, that's, that's a lot of people um, that will lose their Medicaid. The individual market, is a little more than a hundred thousand people. Together, that's four hundred eighty-nine, almost four hundred ninety thousand people, non-seniors who are going to um, who are projected to lose coverage. Um, add in the elderly projected to lose the Medicaid, and that's another thirty-two thousand four hundred people. Now, there's some important information down here talking about uh, the nineteen states that have not expanded Medicaid. And the details are uh, available over here. The quickest way I can think of is just to get rid of this. Here's a, a map. Um, you can Google all this stuff. You can Google quickly. Um, but I wanted to make it a little more quick for you. So what can you do about it? Well, you can contact your representatives. You can contact your... I just quickly Googled Michigan representatives, and it pulled up this page. Um, it shows all the representatives by district. Um, there is a representative map. I was very easy to. It was very easy to find. Okay, what else for Michigan? Well, right over here, I clicked on the Senate page, which is www.senate.gov. It was real quick and easy to type in the uh, state that I want to choose a senator for, and uh, it gives me their contact information. So that's easy to get to. And there are your um, senators, by the way. Same thing on the house page. And um, real quick plug for acasignups.net. This is um, where my source of information for this presentation is. And uh, what can you do about it? Now, what can you do? You can contact those representatives. You can contact those uh, senators and tell them how you feel about this, about these numbers. There's their names, and you can you can look them up. But this is what it really comes down to. You you have to tell them. Um, Mitch McConnell is planning to come back this week and uh, make it happen. So give him a call. Let him know. All of these people. Thanks.